going on? Super excited for this video as always because we are talking about hair growth. This is huge in our community because we want longer hair. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys know or may not know, I'm a Christian. I'm a chemist, but I'm also a Christian. And I literally, for this video, I was like, okay, God, I'm gonna need to do some revelation, okay, on hair growth because you created the scalp and the hair. How I can describe how to really grow our hair. Like, what is the process here? And would you know, Holy Spirit was like, take out a pen and a paper. You probably can't even see it. That's okay. But I can see it. And I'm gonna do a little diagram. So, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to our hair and hair growth, we have the hair follicles, right? Which is embedded in our head. It's in our scalp. It is the root. And then you have the scalp, which is like the soil. And then you have our hair, which is like the flowers. And I'm like, oh, okay, so we got a whole plant ecosystem flower thing going on here. And we just have to learn how to master what that looks like. So how people be growing their flowers is how we should be growing our hair. I did some research and I was like, wow, this makes so much sense. So three inexpensive ways, okay, to grow your hair effortlessly. Number one, water. Why, girl, that ain't nothing new I know about. Yes, we all know about it. However, did you know that 25% of our hair, each cuticle of our hair, is made up of water? So what happens when you don't water your plant that's sitting over there in that corner? It's gonna wilt, it's gonna dry up, it's not gonna have the nutrients that it needs. So that's what happens when we drink the recommended amount of water on a daily basis. It gives our follicles, or the roots, the nutrients and the energy that it needs to do its job. There's even been some research done that people who suffer from hair loss, the follicles of the hair actually shrivel up and can sometimes like die and like disappear within our scalp. So when you are drinking the amount of water that you need, you are allowing your hair follicles to actually be plump and nourish and energized to do its job. So that's number one. Drink your water, ladies. You know how they say, I'm minding my business and drinking my water. Drink your water. Number two, the scalp is like the soil. So when you have a backyard like I do because your girl just moved to her first home, you know, and you're planting flowers, you want those flowers to bloom. So people typically buy like what? miracle Grow and fertilizer. In our case, we need something to stimulate our scalp to give us the optimum hair growth that our body can give us. My recommendations are going to be always, honestly, essential oils. Because essential oils are penetration enhancers. You can put a whole bunch of stuff on your hair, but if it doesn't penetrate into the deep levels of the skin to the blood vessels, it's not gonna do anything. Essential oils that I would recommend for hair growth, peppermint oil, rosemary, tea tree oil. If you are using a hair growth oil, because there's so many of them out here that have some of those ingredients, some type of, some type of essential oil in it, you really can't go wrong unless, you know, it's just not a good product overall. Now, of course, you can make your own DIY recipe, use at your own discretion. If you see irritation, discontinue your usage. But essential oils are going to be the fertilizer of the soil, of the scalp, to really give us that stimulation that we need. Because our blood needs to circulate to the follicle to really give us the growth that we want. Last but not least, the flowers. I want you ladies to start seeing your hair as flowers okay okay maybe that's how God wants us to see our hair now in our case it's going to be a little bit different moisture for our strands is going to be key locking in moisture is where we kind of have a little issue with because what's the point if our scalp is stimulated we got all the water in we're growing our hair but we ain't retaining our length we're not retaining our ends because our hair is not moisturized right What's the point? So that's where the PMP method comes into play. If you've been following me, you know the PMP method back and front, right? But if not, I will include that link below in the description box. But the PMP method is gonna be ideal. Penetrate coconut oil before your wash days so your hair doesn't absorb too much moisture, which can lead to damage. Your M is gonna be moisture, so whether that's a cream-based moisturizer or a liquid moisturizer, then the final P is gonna be protect. 
You gotta protect your hair, protect that moisture so it doesn't evaporate. For me, hair grease is where it's at, or a heavy oil. You know, that helps me to lock in that moisture, retain my moisture, retain my length, so that all this hair I'm growing, your girl's keeping it, okay? So that's pretty much how this whole thing works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a question for you, of course. Have you tried a hair growth oil that is currently on the market that you haven't seen results with? Because that's something I don't think we talk about. What actually works? There's so many things being promoted to us on a daily basis on Instagram and Facebook. What works? Have you tried something that is working? Do you have your own DIY recipe that you want to share with the world? Let us know below. It is a community we are giving, we are sharing. I love it. This is what Curly Chemistry is about. Also, if you have not gotten the Curly Girl's Guide to Hair Care Ingredients, girl, where have you, or guy, where have you been? I will have the link below for you. It will change the way you look at products and ingredients in this natural hair care industry. And if you are thinking about creating a hair care line, you need some help, you don't know where to start, you already started, but you don't know what's next, I have a link below for you as well. All right, be sure to subscribe for more Curly Chemistry videos, make sure your notifications are on, so you can always stay in the loop, and I will definitely see you guys soon, all right? Bye.